Hello everyone, Leather Teen Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more Growing Up. We're already, we're already 14, we're in high school, we have 13 turns until the exam and we're almost ready for it to be honest with you. Um, one of our friends is in a gang. Everyone seems to have like specifically daddy issues. I don't know what this is, but... Our girl is looking as good as ever. So we are not spending any points or doing any of those things until later. I think I'm gonna do this at least one more time. What is, okay, so we have no expectations. We can do whatever we would like. Um, okay, coach assistant would take away some happiness. But it gets me some money. Is it worth it? I'm gonna drop a little bit of it. We wanna we wanna keep this in the proud department. I'm just gonna mention that. Okay. We don't need the skill tree. We need brain maps. Ooh. Okay. Well, that shockwave isn't gonna do me any good from there. What was that? Oh, that was a surprise. That's what it was. Okay, be prepared. Get that. Get that. Oh. Man. Okay, flip it. This is just no good anywhere. Like, I am not quite frankly understanding what's going on. Um, yeah, I, no, I don't know. Uh, imagination? I don't have enough frame points. This, this, this day was a bust. Oh, that's right. And Mr. Chucks a football at my head and expects me to be fine with it. Hey, Jennifer, hey. Out in front of the class. Out in front of the class, out in front of the school, you see Sam, the football star that hit you and hit you with the ball during PE. I remember him. I'm pretty sure that a uh, football shaped mark on my head remembers him. That was still today. He is rushing up to you, seemingly oddly out of breath. Uh, uh, you there. Uh, sorry. Uh, one moment. Whew. Are you okay? Yeah, just, uh, gotta breathe, woo. And, okay, look, I get the same way when I run up a flight of stairs, dude, so I don't blame you at all. Me having the Great Plague completely destroyed my ability to breathe properly while running up a flight of anything. Uh, going to the game on Friday? I don't know. Come to the game next Friday. He gives you his best charming grin. That That's supposed to be not a form of dialogue. This is a form of dialogue. Uh, he gives you his best charming grin. Yeah, did it work? Did, did it work? If I said it out loud, does it work? <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, like, is there an option that's not, like... Continue to choose to be harassed by this guy that's telling you what you're doing with your life and you loser get away from me? Like, is there not a middle? Like, what? I mean, I don't want to go, but I don't want to be like, ew, stranger danger, leave me alone. Like, that's not what this is. Uh, okay, fine, I'll go. Uh, I mean, oh, come on. All right, fine. I'll be there. I'm curious where this goes, but if this guy gives me any more red flags than dude who gets stabbed with a knife in the park. <sighs> I mean, this guy's already kind of like a half red flag anyway. And I think I think the Hoffer is perhaps the only not red flag person in my life. And even then, that's like 50 50 at best. Yes. Um, uh, I mean, uh, great. Does he think this is a date? I hope he doesn't think this is a date. See you there. He rushes off almost as fast as he showed up. 
as if afraid to let you say anything else. He thinks this is a date and he didn't specify. <sighs> That's never good when that happens. I had that happen once. Not with me personally, but like a friend of mine, like, you know, you think of like the classic trio, right? Where there's like one guy, two girls that are the friends. Insert all the things that you end up thinking about with that. And um, the one girl asked out the guy in the group, except he wasn't aware that it was a date because it was just like dinner and her mom was there. And she didn't, like, specify that she thought it was a date. So then, like, when he and I went out on a date later, she, like, just completely shut down and hated the both of us. And I'm like, you didn't... I'm like, it's it's not a... We're in high school. We're, like, 17. It's not a date if your mom's there. Unless you, like... It's not implied that it's a date if your mom's there. If you, like, say... Hey, you want to go on a date? But like, my mom makes like this really good lasagna. Like, let's have it at my house. Like, that's a whole other thought. That's that's a like, yeah, because you said aloud words of date. Otherwise, like when you're just friends as a group, like you just think it's like two friends hanging out and having dinner at each other's houses. Like, you've got to specify that anyway. So yeah, um, he probably thinks this is a date. Jennifer, it's about time you learn the two most important things. Um, learn to duck when someone chucks a football at you and don't do emergency med training in the park when someone gets stabbed. Call an ambulance instead? Is this what you're going to tell me? Um, knowledge and promise? Well, those are important, yes. But what I wanted to talk to you about is this oh the good handshake and a nice smile your mom did the same thing to you and you thought it was dumb then too teach me master <laughs> you know what like honestly yeah let's be enthusiastic about this like no teen ever that 14 is gonna be like this but still <laughs> I've been waiting my whole life to hear about this let's go all right listen closely when you shake someone's hand, make sure you have a strong grip. I can't remember if I just like went full sail in this last time or not. But not too strong. Don't make them think you're trying to intimidate. And also make a wide smile. Probably not like this, though, because they're going to assume that you're a serial killer or stoned. It's th Those are your options. But not too wide or else they'll think you're unprofessional or on drugs. That's, that's, yeah. Remember these rules. And you will be successful in life. Okay, so we have to raise our charm. Okay. Um, not sure what I expected, but I can't help but feel a little disappointed. <laughs> That's fair. Raise my charm. I mean, I have enough pride that I could probably, like, go on a family vacation. Okay. Um, I can get lower. Do I want to do volleyball? That's the thing. Like, I don't think I want to spend the points on these. Um, let's see. Gallery. Carnival. Study improvement guides. Okay, 15 on the brain cap. Action. I just get money. Okay, well, we can go on a trip and just raise it. Um, that, that, would, that would do a lot. I wish I had something that would gain, like, my intelligence and simultaneously my, um, creativity. But this is the one that's going to raise my charm. And also, I want my creativity going up anyway. How many turns do I have to complete that in? I have four turns. So I can drop my happiness. And then we can do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it next turn. So that this way I can drop my happiness a little bit more and then this will fill it all the way back up. That that's the plan. Okay. Um I need to get ready for the exam. That's right. Oh, that's right. I have work as a video game tester I can do. Okay. What is going to raise our exam readiness? 
doesn't. Um, but this would. That'll get us up to six. Do we want to go for human biology or do we want to go for history? You know what? Let's go for the history. That That's solid. Um, I think I want to do at least one thing that's going to... Maybe some work or something that's going to balance it out. I want something that's going to balance this all out. Um, and we'll do that to... Did I not? Did that not? Oh, no. Okay, we did. We did. We did schedule. Okay. I hit schedule and then it like went to the next like narrative thing and I just I love I love the I love the inception of the windows here of the busted computer. This is great. I didn't realize last time, by the way, how much my room really fills up with the things that my girl is passionate about. And I really enjoy that actually. I don't know, there's just something kind of pleasing about, like, the idea of getting, like, an anatomy poster and an Egyptian one. We have, like, fruit from healthy eating, a pen for my writing, a time I learned to count, you know. Oh, no. <sighs> Sir, get shanked in the park a lot. Wants to hang out with me. Cool. Okay. After a close call, you and Jake hang out more. One day, while he is over at your place... Uh, thanks for letting me hang out here so much. I, I hate being at home. My dad is drinking more and more lately, and that's why you're in a gang. I see. I'm not dating this dude. It's not gonna happen. I want better things for this guy. I'm not gonna date him. I, I would, like, <sighs> childhood best friend, willing to do it for it, joined a gang, thinks I'm a narc because I want him to get medical attention, and, I don't know, I just choose to abstain from, like, risky behavior. No. No, no. I'd, I'd rather date the guy that beamed me in the head with a football. And, honestly, out of everybody that I've been hanging out with, I'd rather date, uh, Hoffa. Hoffa, Hoffa, whatever. He's got some promise. <sighs> well, okay, I'm sorry that this is what you're going through, Jake. Ha! Huh! No! Uh-uh. No, we're not doing that. We are not. Nope. No, no. No. Be supportive. Be supportive. Don't bring that up. That's just gonna end in a fight. We're not doing that. 100% no. What game developer was this their narrative where they chose this option IRL? Polish team, I am worried for you. I don't even remember the name of the developers. Who is the developers? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up the Steam page. Hold on. Who did this? Who was responsible for this? Um, who did this? Vile Monarch, like, come on, man. <sighs> it's no big deal. Don't even worry about it. Come over any time. Uh, thanks. Really. Uh, there's just something... It, uh, I worry about your health, dude. After he's over for a bit, you notice that Jake's a bit twitchy. Oh, no. Is he going through withdrawals? Also, I like the D&D characters. Don't tell me he's going through withdrawal. Hey, are you alright? Uh, yeah. I'm just a little low lately. Like, emotionally low? Low on stuff? Or, like, do you actually need insulin? Uh, low? Uh, yeah, on... <sighs> Look, don't judge me. Oh, boy, this is about to be bad. On what? <sighs> You'll judge me. Just stuff. Some meth sometimes, cocaine a few times. It's no big deal. Oh, God. I gotta think about this cause like I wanna be here for him when he's ready to admit that he needs help and I don't wanna see this kill him but he's not gonna listen to me if I straight up tell him or if I tell on him or any of that 
Is this through the gang stuff? Look, okay, I'm, I'm friends with the guy I get meth from. It's a fair deal. And it's my goddamn body. It honestly just sounds like you're trying to plug that hole that's kind of been left from the fact that your family ignores you for their blatant alcoholism with drugs as opposed to self-love. But sure. Cool. Yeah. I mean, this, honestly, yes. 100% just be like, look, I'm just worried about you. First, I don't, I don't trust you at 14 to say the right thing anyway. IRL, like, this is obviously a very big deal. I can't believe I just said IRL. Anyway, it's obviously a very big deal. And wanting to help your friend get out of it is very important. And you got to, like, there, there are steps. You can't... you. You can't make them feel like they're being judged negatively for this, but at the same time you want to express like, hey, this isn't this isn't good. Right? So if we're going to get to the root of the problem, like cuz that's the thing, right? Anytime that someone has to deal with like a, a counselor, right? The counselor training is like don't judge. You have to help them reach their own conclusions and me just being like, hey, this is obviously a very big deal. It's not gonna it's not gonna change anything. He's not gonna suddenly just stop doing drugs. He already doesn't trust my opinion in this way. So me having a dissenting opinion is not gonna help him. Helping him get to the conclusion on his own. Maybe realizing that there is something bigger to the problem here that might help. So why'd you start using? Uh, I don't know. One of the guys has cheap meth. I've tried it a few times, probably to seem cool, because of all of the times that you guys drank and did drugs when we were in middle school. It makes me feel pumped. Really, just here. In the moment. It's basically like my ADD meds, but it actually works. I mean, on the one hand, though it's not, it's not meth. On the other hand, it's not exactly not not meth. But that's the thing, like, when you have ADD and ADHD, sometimes you need those meds to be able to focus. And I almost wonder, with this, if he's just trying to self-medicate in a way that allows him to have more control over the situation, because you don't feel like you have control when you have ADD or ADHD. Like, you're kind of just in for the ride and trying to grasp at straws for some semblance of taking back your life from this thing that's making it really hard to do. Even the basic stuff, like brush your teeth. He gives a big shrug. I'm really glad that we didn't fool around with him, because I'm concerned. Just don't narc, okay? I mean it. Seriously, narc. Sigh, but don't narc. If I, like, what's it gonna do? His dad won't put down the bottle to actually help him. My parents, while they can help, they have no authority over him, so it's not going to do anything. At most, it might just get him kicked out of school, and then he's going to just kind of propel himself further into the problem. Just sigh and don't narc, I guess. I don't know. I, I morally feel like I'm failing at this situation, and I think that this is actually a good sign of very good writing. Which makes sense, because these people pulled this from their real life, but... <sighs> Give a deep sigh, which is exactly how I feel in real life. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm, I'm worried about you. Don't be. I'm invincible. No, you're not. No, you're not, dude. <laughs> Thank you. No, you're not. Sure I am. No, if you hit the ground, you're going to go splat. Trust me. He gives you a big smile like it's true. You can almost believe him. This guy is going to OD. I have every bit of belief in the world that this guy is going to OD. <sighs> well, things have been learned today, I guess. Okay. Oh, well, we get space exploration as the next one. Okay, so I don't want to go, like, super nuts. 
Because we definitely want to keep this parent satisfaction up there, but... I don't know, I don't have anything that's really gonna... Well... Yeah, I'm willing to tank myself a little. Let's finish that out. There we go. Um... Okay, Parents Pride I do want to keep up, but I'm gonna... Okay, that's that. Uh, do we have... What do we have as points for doing things? Okay. Well, let's do the brain map then. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's time to end the episode. So thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode of Growing Up. Take care, everybody.